Who's the murderer of the clown song? I don't remember most testimony, bro. This is bullcrap. Do I have that? No, of course not. Frick, man. Who was the murderer the clown saw? She's not asking who the murderer is, because that's effing acro. Duh. Sorry to Regina's freaking fan base in the comments section. Yeah, I don't think she did it anymore. I'm going to make you a star, Dad. Murder. <laughs> like, okay. Who? Th so, what I can recall from most testimony is... God, I really cannot F this up. He saw... He heard a... He heard a sound and then saw a top hat. And a cloak. He didn't, he didn't see no roses, okay? And we know... We know from... Oh, the puppet guy... And his roommate... That they saw a cloaked figure walking towards that side, like... Dude. Clearly... Mr. Barry... Didn't want to be seen... Because he don't... He doesn't know who else saw that effing... Uh... Where is it? The note, right? He doesn't feel good about killing the lion that, like, sinking permanently. I think that's it, bro. I'm pretty sure he's not the murderer, but Mo actually saw, Bear like, Russell Berry, bro. What's this supposed to m I'm actually effing wrong? Yes. I'm okay. What is that supposed to mean? Do you mind explaining to me? I just... Uh, I know I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but sometimes I feel like I'm farther ahead than the game. Uh, Maya's... She looks so angry. Uh, it made sense to me. Okay. Two people. Duh, I'm an idiot. It can't be... Oh, my effing God. One was the victim, Russell Berry, and then there was the murderer himself. We... Obviously... Oh, God. I have to... I wasn't thinking. I was trapped up in my own harebrained scheme. Or theory, I guess. I didn't kill nobody. Answer this and only this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Who was the murderer? So we're talking about who's here. It has to, it has to be somebody here. Well, it, not you. It ain't you because you couldn't be on the ground. It's not you because you witnessed it. I severely doubt it's Ben. <laughs> it's not Regina. This is like sinking. What's the game with the people's face? You know, Johnny, that's every game in existence. No, y guess who? Yeah, that's it. God, that's an old reference. Even for me. Okay, um. Dog, I don't know. Someone help me out. Maya, please. It was Maya the whole time. You'll never prove it, though. <laughs> <sighs> okay. What do, you, what do we know for certain? I need to just separate, like, you know, the fact from the fiction. Mo says he saw a hat, dude, and he flew up. I remember that part exactly because uh, it was at the end of his, like, testimony. So if he saw the hat, and we know it's not Max, and the hat was at the scene of the crime, that's the... <gasps> oh my effing God! That makes sense! He was wearing the outfit! But he doesn't have the hat on now! Bro, he was wearing that! Oh my god. That makes sense, so it has to be- Okay, obviously it's not Russell Bear. <laughs> uh... But where else is there a hat? There is a- There is technically another copy of Max's hat! Boom! If this ain't it, I'm doomed! Can I save? No, I can't. Dang it! Death! Yeah? Yeah! He saw my owl! I asked who was the other person Mo saw on the sea. I have to, I guess. That evidence has nothing to do with the question. Great. Au contraire, mon frere. You know, I'm French. I can't even. It does indeed have something to do with the question. Yeah, I'm on to you. I'm on to you. Mo said that he saw Max's silhouette, not Max, you know what else can replicate his silhouette? <laughs> I'll tell you. He did not actually see the man. It wasn't a human being at all. It was a bust. Got it. I'm got it. 
I got the wind back in my sails. It's time, y'all. You're going down, friend. How is that possible, man? Oh, it's quite simple, really. What Mo actually saw was Max's statue. The bust. Just the head up, basically. What are you talking about? How have you tried using a brain at all in this case? Yeah, once or twice, but it's hard to keep up, I'll be honest. The silhouette he saw was wearing a cloak. Doesn't have to be his cloak, though. There's no reason why you couldn't attach a cloak to the bust. Everybody can go to sink in Joanne's fabrics, Fran. Maybe you should do that. Make yourself a new outfit! Oh! It would have been easy to hang one of the cards in the bust's hands. Idiot. Who in their right mind would put a cloak on a bust? Maybe a murderer! It doesn't matter who put it on the bust. It wasn't- Hey, whoa, 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 Mr. Wright, you're getting a little- you're getting a little fired up. Someone down now- I- I- yeah. I'm- I'm pumped up! This is crazy! Who put the cloak on the bust? That question is the utmost importance in this case, don't you agree? That's obvious, it's Acro. So let's have it, Mr. Wright. Who put the cloak on the bust? <sighs> this Doug, this does beg the question how he got a cloak, but well, we know he was sleeping with a blanket, presumably. Unless he has no blinds or blanket. Homie, does he even got a pillow? I think it's pretty obvious Acro's the number one suspect. Hmm. I wonder, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Uh oh. Didn't the defendant wear his cloak the entire time he was at practice? Uh. So then how did this person get a hold of the cloak? It's a different cloak! What? Well... Furthermore, how would this person have gotten the cloak onto the bust? Hmm. I wonder. Because the person was not spotted at the scene. I'm sorry. Uh, I gotta do it all over again? No way! Come on! So much for the wind being in my sails again. Who put the cloak on the bust? Okay. I know this... I, I pretty much figured it out. There's only one way... I... No... <sighs> Is this the only answer? Because I'm thinking about it, right? What is... What is Barry's reason to tie a cloak to the bus? If this really is Max's... I almost pressed Y like an idiot. If that is unmistakably his cloak, right? What reason would Barry have to, like, have it? But we know he does. he was wearing it. That's the only way it could be transported. We know a how. It's not too unreasonable. But we don't know a why. And if this effing screws me over again, I'm gonna be so ticked. Bruh. Also, I did take myself down to the same HP, if, in case you're curious, because... I don't know, I feel like that's fair. That's annoying, yeah, but... Eh? F fool him? You're saying it was the victim himself? Phoenix, you effing idiot! No, no, uh... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Haha. <laughs> God, being a lawyer sounds hard. All you gotta do is make up stuff on the spot. Dude, F that. I just described commentary. What? I I mean, the victim himself placed the cloak on the bus. That doesn't make any sense. What if it wasn't intentional? Oh my god. I mean, nah, cloak would have to be on pretty tight. Place the cloak isn't really the way I would put it. <laughs> and what way would you put it, right? Explain yourself! Nick, do you really have a handle of all this? No, I don't, Maya. Not at all. I'm finally putting all the pieces together. Don't you worry about it, Maya. Tee-hee. <laughs> There's really only one picture I can paint anyways. A, a moon. Because you, you, you just cover the whole canvas black and then you make a white circle. It's pretty easy. But, so you want to know what really happened that night? Let's step back in time, shall we? <laughs> it was the 1980s. Camarocho District. I mean, <clears throat> Acro used a rope to lower the wooden box. That's what I was thinking. Then he attached the rope to the bust. Yeah, because that's in his room and he can easily pull the rope back up. And dangled the bust out of his bedroom window directly above the wooden box. 
uh... At the same time, the ringmaster told Max to wait in his room and went to the scene of the crime. Of course, at the time, the ringmaster was wearing Max's costume. Dude, am I just stupid brain? I swear, this whole time. I thought he said, Oh, it's cold out, da ba da ba da. What do you want to take my coat, future dad? No, that's quite all right. I guess I was wrong. Perhaps he didn't want anyone to recognize him that night. So, just as he feared, he was spotted at the entrance of the lodging house. But none other than ventriloquist's puppet, Ben and Trillo. When the ringmaster arrived at the scene, he bent over to lift the wooden box. And that's when Acro- Dude. What the heck? Why would you kill- Why would you kill him of all people? That doesn't add up. Phoenix, use your noggin. I mean, that- <sighs> That's when Acro took his chance and released the rope. But maybe he saw it was- It was Barry, and he, he didn't have the strength to, like, get it up because of the- You know, the momentum? Huh. Now this is when the magic happens. Homie gonna really die? Like, at the very instant the bust hit the victim. You're joking. That's not true. That's stupid. Whatever. How am I ever gonna figure that out? I'm sorry. That is stupid. Mm. No, Johnny, you're the stupid one. You're right, but man, that's so freaking unnatural. You wait just a second there, Mr. Phoenix, right? That that is absurd. It's it's that's why I call it a magic. As much as you try, huh? as much as you scheme, this just isn't true. It can't be. It's still a little early to be getting so upset, don't you think, Miss Von Karma? <laughs> this circus isn't over yet. What? It goes on. I it, it flies off. I mean, it's a cloak, but come on. The impact of the bust on the victim threw the cloak up, which snagged onto the bust. Yeah. The impact also caused the sound a certain witness heard, prompting him to take a look. And does that does explain how he recovered the evidence, but not the hat. Lawrence Mo Curls, the clown, of course. When Mo looked out his window, the cloak had already snagged onto the bust. Now, having completed the crime, Acro naturally went about pulling up the murder weapon. Of course, he had no idea that Mo saw the bust being raised, with the cloak dangling on it. Primarily because in his wheelchair, he couldn't see out of the window. So, he just kept pulling up the bust. With cape included. So really, Max's trick... Legitimately had nothing to- So much for my obsession with looking on the roof. <laughs> and that is how the magical murderer disappearing into the sky came to be. God dang, Phoenix is smart. Holy- Pretty good, huh? So you see, the only person who could have pulled this off is the one person who was able to drop the murder weapon from above the crime scene. Acro! It could have only been you. No. <laughs> Acro's been playing mind games with all of us. It's kind of mean. Yeah. And I've been mean to you too, Maya. But will Phoenix actually realize that and apologize? No. Because you are more mature than he is. Anywho. He has come to the end of his rope. Literally. So, what, what? You've graced us with a rather long-winded tale. But do you have any evidence to prove that your fairy tale is true? Uh, no? Oh yeah, evidence. We do that, Donna. Yeah. Forgot about all that. Wowie. That's the biggest issue here. This is all circumstantial. But dude, we can at least prove it's not Max. F off. In this court, only two things matter. The power of evidence and the power of my whip. That thing sucks. Roomscape looking behind, all right. Don't forget the power of my mighty gavel. Or my mace as I internalize it as. Mr. Wright, the prosecution brings up a good point. Can we see some evidence? Nick, they say they want evidence. 
Evidence machine broke! I don't- what? Ah. I just explained how there can only be one possible murder method. There's still something unusual about Moe's eyewitness account. I- I don't even remember his eyewitness account. It was days ago. Christ. Yeah. There's a contradiction. Okay, then. Use that and get out of this jam. Can I? What about that freaking... Uh, that's enough talking to you old stinking lady over there. Not not, not like you... Oh, God. M Mr. Wright, now you made me feel embarrassed. I'm... Oh, no. Present some evidence to back up your claim. I want hard proof that you unraveled the trick. Hard proof. Okay. I just gotta think about every clue. That's not too bad. I've used... I've used just about everything. The circus map. Autopsy report, blunt force trauma to the back of the head. Dude, what more do they want? This is literally plain as day. After reviewing basically everything, multiple times, we have yet to use the small seasoning bottle. Now we know what relevance it is, but bad has not even been name dropped once, so I don't think it's that. These are my these are my three candidates. Autopsy report, the bottle, and then the note. For those who don't remember, I totally do, but I'm reading for you. You <laughs> it sounded so sarcastic, but it's true. I have a bad habit of that. I'm sorry. I haven't forgotten what happened six months ago, have you? I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet me at 10 p.m. at the lodging house. Max could have killed him anywhere, bro. If Max really did have this type of ability, he didn't need to specify the lodging house plaza. That only helps Acro. That is my lawyerly like reasoning. Also known as an excuse. As for the um, autopsy report, I mean, come on. Come on. Blood force trauma to the back of the head. Dude, didn't it sneak up on the guy? Look at the. I mean, we don't have the picture of the. Uh, of, you know. Mo's testimony. But he was in front of the, him. Like, come on. How do you get in the back of somebody's head like that? If you're supposedly flying so close, you can see him out of Moe's window. But which one of the three? And I, I don't have a reason for the pepper, but like, dude, we haven't used it yet. Clearly, so <laughs> it's got to be important, but. Placed by Acro in Regina's pocket. The morning of the crime. How do we even know about that? I forget who told us. No, Regina told us that. That's another reason. Acro needed someone with the ability to go to the cafeteria to put that note so someone else would find it. But how did he know Regina would do that? That's confusing. But I still think it's the note. Please. Mm. Phoenix, you F and then come poop. This is getting old. I'm, I'm going to full heal and just do the trial over again because this is stupid. Oh, God. Listen, I don't know how to say this, guys, but in the... Also, yeah, my, my last save was like when I was 4 HP. I don't know how to say this. It's anticlimactic. I figured it out. The reason this is hard proof that there's a contradiction here is because how do we explain the two hats? And I don't know how I didn't notice this earlier. My God. It really is plain as day. Mo saw a hat, right? Which we know was the busts. But there was also a hat at the scene of the crime. The game makes sure to let you know that, oh, no, 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 the bus hat simply could not fall off. But we don't know that yet. So yeah, this, the, this, the fact the silk hat was left behind, I'm 99% sure is the hard contradiction. But if this was a situation where, no, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it's not a one of a kind hat. But like, okay, somehow Acro steals the hat, right? 
it could have fell down once he was pulling it back up. His, his rope skills can probably only do so much. So, yeah, yeet. I'm picking this. The problem is Max's three symbols. You know. I'm not going to say it again. Those symbols were a problem numerous times during yesterday's proceedings. God dang, I hate it. Yesterday, there were two contradictions in most testimony. The silk hat was one, the white roses were another. But the theory is just presented explains all those contradictions. You fool, do you ever shut up? You already know I won. Max's silk house found in the scene of the crime. However, remember what Mo said yesterday? He testified the criminal was fleeing the scene was wearing a silk hat. There's only one explanation for that. The silk hat was actually the bust. And he was facing away, so you couldn't see the white roses. Also, because there were no white roses to see. Makes sense. You look at it that way, then he did see the silk hat. Well, sort of. A marble copy of it. I guess not so one of a kind after all. D you've got... Fine. You've got one. <sighs> what about the other contradiction? Other contradiction? Uh... Remember what the ventriloquist said in court? No, I don't. He said that he witnessed white roses on Max's chest that night. But the clown's testimony doesn't match. He's facing the other way. Also, this compute this graphic sucks. The the hat is obscured by his arm, which I know. If you saw the hat, there would be no trick. But the hat's huge! Come on! I'd like to see you try and explain that one. You can do it, right, Nick? Yeah. It's facing the opposite direction, silly willy. What was that? Please recall the incident the cloak snagged onto the bus. The cloak snagged onto the bus. What happened to the white roses? Oh. No, it's, they're not facing the wrong way at all. They're obscured by the arms. Dumb, my bad. Do you get it, Yao? If the cloak got snagged onto the front of the bust, it means that the white roses would end up on the back of the bust. Ooh. Just that's why Mo didn't see them. The white roses were not visible because they were on the back side of the bust. How many times I gotta freaking say it? Ugh. God, I've been recording forever. Ugh. You want a recess, man? Get, get yourself a new swimsuit to wear? How do you know I record in a swimsuit? Oh, well, I, yeah, uh, any, anyway, uh, I just like to be comfortable. <laughs> Johnny, that's freaking weird! Don't, hey. You know, Florida's humid. I gotta, I gotta swim to the grocery store, you know. You do understand, too. It's quite a shocking state of affairs. Mr. Ross Theory still holds a bit of... It sounds a bit absurd to me, but then again, this whole thing goes... Let's just keep going down this road for a while and see where it leads. I think that's a quote from Chainsaw Massacre, but, uh... Let's do this, Nick. Then maybe Von Karma will finally throw in the towel and be nice to you and stop being mean to you so we can get Edgeworth back and I can go back to... <sighs> Not going to happen. Mm. What are you two doing? Eh? Well, so much for that theory. <laughs> They're not budging. Mr. Wright. Do you mind? What? Wait, a minute. You took the time to research our circus. Didn't you? Uh, well, yeah. Is there something making you think that I didn't? If you did, then maybe you'll understand why I think you're off track. Uh, what you talking about? Motive. This witness feels an incredible debt of gratitude toward the ringmaster. Anyone with any relation to the circus is well aware of this. Okay. I can prove this. Feelings change. <laughs> That's really shaky. <laughs> Crap, maybe I can't. Thus, there is absolutely no way someone like this would kill the ringmaster. What if... Hold up. Yeah, I got nothing. Freak. Your Honor, I'd like you to hear Acro's story. Learn about his relationship with the Ringmaster and his life up until now. What do we do? No, we have to let the, the witness testify. There's no doubting that Acro deeply respected the Ringmaster <gasps> like a father. <gasps> you wouldn't kill your own dad, would you? No, I... Uh... Gross motive. Dude, I feel like I'm so close. Okay, just let him talk. Seems this case ain't over yet. 
All right. I feel like it's a good place to take a break. Oh, thank God. Now, listen to the rest of Mr. Dangling's story after the recess. Gotta use a little judge's room. See y'all in 10. Later. Please let me save. Please let me save. Oh, does, do I get healed? I, I know I ask this every episode, but I, I always forget. Ugh. Hey, guys, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. I have game overed more times in this trial than in the first game total. <laughs> Say what you will, my god. I can't believe it. A crow? Yeah. But still watch your back around Regina, Max. <laughs> it's pretty shocking, isn't it? <gasps> it definitely is! I should think he was always the most straightforward of the group. Jeepers! Am I that hated? You know... Maybe before you ask out your, uh, teenage bride, uh, wait a couple years, and, uh, work on yourself! Cause you got some issues, buddy! Marriage ain't easy! Uh huh. Akira tried to pin murder on you on purpose, dude. Effed up. Super effed up. He... he did? Oh no! Psst, 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 psst. Whisper, whisper... <laughs> I'm nothing but a little old nobody, you know? Uh, you're definitely not, dude. Can you make up your mind? And that's kind of the reason why he... <laughs> hey, pal, sorry, I need a lozenge. You got one. You're gonna keep ignoring me? I'm 50 feet tall. I know you see me. Or at least can sense my key energy. You're gonna ignore me after I went all the trouble to bring you some evidence? Come on! I didn't, I didn't know that yet. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. M-B-L-O-L. Uh, what was that? Uh, nah, forget it. I'm going home. This guy deserves to be guilty anyway. You know, that's not how we should talk in a courtroom. Now, now, detective. I'm sorry. Look, why don't you relax a little? Got some really tasty milk. Check it out, Mr. Gumshoe. It's still fresh. After we've been in trial for like hours, uh... How about a card trick, detective? <laughs> it's all I'm good at! <laughs> yeah, it's a... It's a tempting combo. Some cards and the milk. What if I do? <laughs> well, if you insist. He's got Homer's laugh, but... <laughs> Krung's voice. <laughs> oh, how about that evidence first? What is it? Maya knows how to get her away. Evidence first, milk later. Yeah, here you go. I got, got some red jam on it. Uh, oh, this is disgusting. Oh, yeah, we saw that in Macro's room. I don't even remember what it is. Yep, and uh, included the forensics result. Take a look at it later. Or don't, I don't know. Will Miss Von Karma be mad you're doing this? Well, that's the thing about ladies in love, Maya. They'll be mad at you no matter what you do. That's misogynistic, Gumshoe. No. Oh, uh, uh no, nah, I just, uh, that's why this is all a secret, dude. Huh? Speak louder. Look, man, I, I, I the details are on a need-to-know basis. And we're not really allies or anything. We could be. <laughs> Everything that's happened in court up till now has gone all according to plan. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Just had to throw that line in there, didn't you? Okay. I don't know, Miss Von Karma didn't seem in control of things just now. Uh, yeah, I, uh, she'll figure it out, pal. She's a smart lady. Uh, yesterday, our final plans were set in motion. Final plans sounds really ominous for the police, detective. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I uh, got a message from the prosecutor. Nothing is ever truly decided until the very end. <laughs> That's all. That's it for me too, pal. I'm out of here. Gonna watch some Dota 2! Okay. <laughs> Never played Dota 2 in my life. I don't know why I said that. It's a good game, Phoenix! I know it's hard to start, but seriously. It's cool. There's a guy named... I don't know a single Dota 2 character! <laughs> Whoops. The Improv failed. What did he mean by that? The very end part. Super scary. I'm not sure. It was pretty cryptic for me, too. 
Oh yeah, one more thing. I remember the I remember the character. His name's uh Ma Mana Reaver. No. There's Templar magician. No, that's too many adjectives. God, Bloodthirster. That's the guy. I love him. I'll never believe what he does. Ah, uh, don't scare me with nerd crap. <laughs> <laughs> Maya is not a fan of MOBAs. Looks like there's a, a large care package from the circus for the defendant. Well, for me? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, milk. The receptionist area looks, uh, looks like some kind of dairy or something. Uh, so hurry up and drink it all before it spoils, big man. An entire dairy's worth of milk for me? I don't even know what to say. That's kind of weird. <laughs> anyway, I can't pass judgment. Y'all don't even want to know how much sushi I- I mean, <clears throat> hamburgers I devour. Call some session, get your booties down, mess it up, put- Put a shirt on with your stinking swim trunks. Sorry, sorry, I'm just, It's hot today. Continue from where you left off. I'd like to continue with Acro's testimony, starting with his relationship to the victim. I'd also like to get proof from the defense. Proof of what kind of motive Acro would have to commit murder. His friggin' brother died, you dimwit. Alright, that's fair, I guess. Yes, Your Honor. Please proceed with your testimony. Finally, we get to the motive. Wait, Nick, are you okay? Maya, I'm at 1 HP. Just do me a favor and don't ask questions you don't want the answer to, Maya. Yeah, we, we screwed. It's tragic. It really is. But here it comes. When we were little. We were abandoned by our parents. That's when the ringmaster of the big circus, Russell Berry, took us in. Took us in. He already effed up. He could have just not mentioned his brother. I came an acrobat as old as nine. That's actually super impressive. I wanted to find a way to repay the ringmaster. That was my sole purpose in life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if we press on us, what are you going to say? It's just a thoughtful young man. I'm sorry for the tragedy that has occurred in your life. Truly, I am. I'd say a prayer, but, uh, well, I ain't no rabbi. As you heard, the witness deeply respected the victim. I wonder how anyone would think that Acro would kill the man he held in such esteem. You're absolutely right. How could anyone think that? I have an idea, and it has to do with that grinning lion. So there's no real need for cross-exam. Not necessarily. Hey, I, I'm, I'm just... Just give me a second. Why would Acro kill the ringmaster? This might be the last chance to answer that question. Why would it ask us if it wasn't obvious? No need to question him now? What if he effed up? What if he wasn't even aiming for what's-his-face? That doesn't make any... What if he was trying to kill Max? Maybe that doesn't make any sense. Max has obviously not killed anybody. He could never. He, he he talks big, but he can't harm a fly. And it's not like Bat died either. But who was? If Leon is dead, who, oh my effing god! Oh my, is that it right, dude? Oh, I almost pressed evidence. Okay, uh, I'm, I, 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 if we don't question, can I save? I'm just going to do that real quick. <laughs> there we go. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Thank God my computer saves fast. I don't, I'm going my gut here. I don't think we need to question him. No, I will, I will do it because the us part was weird. The defense has a right to cross-examine this witness. You're so tactless, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You don't care about justice, do you? You just want to fabricate a motive. Very well, right? Cross exam. Wow, I think this was the right thing to do. I'm glad I... Uh, oh, God. okay. Uh, four, four is manageable, though. Took us in. Who are you talking about, Willis? How would you describe your relationship with the ringmaster? He was like an uncle, a father, and a big brother all wrapped in one. The ringmaster and my brother were the only family I had. What about other people at the circus? This was all over 15 years ago. Back then, there were a few customers coming in. 
so no one really had the time to look after us. They worried about other things. But the ringmaster, he would always come to see us with a laugh and a smile. What a honestly beautiful story. Wouldn't everyone in the courtroom agree? That's why I always think of what I could do to help. I wanted to thank him. Isn't Acro such a wonderful person? Uh... Yeah, he's nice on the outside. <sighs> How long have you been a performer now? Mm. He didn't really go... I mean, he at least revealed to the courtroom that he does, in fact, have a brother. I've been getting Acro for nine years. I wanted to find a way to repay the master. All right, your sole purpose in life. Do you ever have any trouble with the ringmaster? Ow! How could you ask such a thing, Mr. Phoenix, right? Do you have no shame? Do you have some sort of fundamental understanding of this witness's testimony? Or the heartfelt emotions contained within? You better think about this, Mr. Uh, you're the one who has problems with people. No matter how you look at it, there's no way the witness ever talked about, thought about taking the victim's life. My God, what? Well, well, shoot. I guess I was wrong. I've been waiting for you to say that, Your Honor. I'm glad you see eye to eye. Nick, I hate to say it, but you screwed up, dude. Yeah. I was trying to taste down the truth, but I ended up just looking like a jerk. What do you think, Nick? I don't know. I think the more cross examining I can do, this, yeah, the worse we end up. You mean? I get the feeling this was a trap. God dang it. I guess I should have. Mm, I got double tricked. Von Karma sets you up again. What? Yeah. So how the crud do we get out of this? Do we have to press everything? God dang it. All right. So we. Yes, my brother Sean and I. What? Is is that Sean's? Oh, it is his name. I was like, what? I thought I caught you in a lie. What? You got a brother? Crazy. I do too. His name's Alfred. How old were you when this happened, Acro? I was eight years old. And my brother was four. Hmm, the parents were very cruel, weren't they? Nowadays, we aren't bitter to what happened to us, because it allowed us to meet the wonderful people at the big circus. <laughs> yeah, but you don't like everybody at that circus, do you now? Nick, the judge is getting misty-eyed. Yeah, I can't help but relate. He's spinning quite the yarn. No crying in court. Let's keep going. <laughs> a witness may proceed with his testimony. That's just blatantly not true. Everyone cries after a freaking trial's over. What? Swing the master took us in. I became an acrobat at nine. I, I just, I don't know what to do here. Ugh. Sorry, I was just mashing A. I kind of forgot what I was doing. I think this will be enough for now. The let's play of finally learned to press every statement. Pondering whether or not this man will kill the ringmaster leads me to believe that. Don't say not guilty. No, that's, that's too cruel. It's pretty unlikely. Exactly right, you What if it was an accident? Mr. No, you don't murder. It's premeditated. They wouldn't... I'd like to ask you a question, Mr. Wright. Yeah, what's up? I would like... I would just like to know, can you provide an explanation as to why Acro would want the ringmaster dead? I... I have a really stupid idea. How do I put this into words? What if... I need to read the note again. Because what if this was not meant for the ringmaster? To the murderer. It doesn't say the ringmaster. I haven't forgotten about having six months ago. Have you? I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet me at 10 p.m. Mentions nothing about anybody in particular. I just assumed it was for Barry. What if this was for Regina, bro? It, after all, it was in her pocket. Bro, that makes perfect sense! What the frick? Dude! He put the note in in her pocket so she'd read it later and be like, Oh no, I must go. But like, she was obviously like, Huh? This isn't for me. I'd never kill a soul. Or hurt anybody. I'd never murder anybody. So it had... Dude... I don't know why I'm playing with this piece of paper on my like desk, but if that's if that's the trial, I swear to God, because that is hard to follow. But that does make like actual sense. Yeah, 
I can. Ex I, I think I got this. Now that I've come this far, there's no way I can answer no. Uh, oh, this is going to be good. Uh, well then, please enlighten the court. Let's see some evidence to prove Aqua's motive in killing the ringmaster. It's not the ringmaster, though. It's Re he hates Regina because what happened to Bat. Dude, this is dumb. If only it just said, let's see some evidence that proves the motive for the murder. That would be better. I just, I, I guess just say bat. I don't know. Or the, or the note. Let's just, let me just go over this one more time. All right. Um, this is why Acro killed the ringmaster. Really, Phoenix? Yeah. I don't think the defense would mind confirming something for me. What exactly are we supposed to learn from the... <sighs> Didn't think it through enough. Looks like you won the award for biggest failure in court. That's that's a new one. That stings, huh? Uh... Is it maybe the note? This ha It has to be something here. I prefer you hurry up and prove something. <sighs> Give up? I get, uh, I guess, dude. I don't know. Nick? Yeah, I don't even have to think about it. It was obvious from the start. Your Honor, the reason that Acro killed the Ringmaster is something that can't be proven. Are you effing joking? How am I supposed to know that? That's because Acro had no reason to kill the Ringmaster at all! Uh, I mean, t yeah, technically. Ugh. Your foolish attempts to fool us. Like foolish fools is so fool-heartedly foolish. Did you forget? You made an accusation against this witness, did you not? I believe it was. This is the reason Russell Berry, the remaster, killed the... If you want to jump to the end of things, then yes, that sounds about right. What's you talking about the end of things? Acro. You didn't plan to kill the remaster at all. Did you? The, yeah, dude. It was Regina. It makes so much sense now. He even mentioned he couldn't see out the window. He set himself up. My God, dude. Get wrecked. The ringmaster wasn't your target that night, was he? But did you just say? I'm saying that the target of the witness's murder plot was not the ringmaster. Think about it. Because it was never his intention to kill Russell Berry to begin with. He wanted his daughter. Not like the other creepy dudes at the sinking circus want his daughter, but you know. Oh my god, this is nuts. But go on. Bailiff, I don't care who it is. Smack anyone who's louder than me. And that's saying a lot. I'm pretty, I'm screaming. Hit him mm. twice if you got him. Mr. Wright, what in the world are you trying to do in my court? I'm trying to make an innocent man go. Oh, Mr. Phoenix Wright, what in the world are you trying to do to this court? Ah! Are you attempting to imply that Acro is trying to kill someone else? Yeah. Regina Barry. I'm certain, bruh. Yes! Okay, I wasn't 100% certain, but... This young, innocent girl... That has the ire of many adult men? Why? Why would anyone want to hurt her? Well, Acro... You were really aiming for her that night, weren't you? Dude, he's... Hit birds ain't there, you know what's up. My god. You don't need to answer that. It, it, it's a mean-spirited leading question. No, he does, because I need to know. He could easily answer the question. He's answered plenty before. If I'm wrong, all I have to say is, you're wrong. That's all. Th that's it, huh, Mr. Wright? Enough. Allow me to, ah! The only thing allowed to interrupt me is death itself. Talk about a drama queen, Jesus. And that goes for you too, Mr. Phoenix, right? Show me evidence, now! I wanna know why Acro would want to kill B Yeah, that's gotta be bad, for sure. Me too, I demand to see some proof. Or it could be that thing uh, Gumshoe gave us. I didn't read that yet. Bat scarf, same with blood, and a small quantity of pepper. Do we, Tom? I'm, I'm literally at another 50-50. Do I pick bat? What's the better description? 
That scarf stained with blood, small quantity of pepper. But to them, that could be... Okay, it's just a scarf of blood on it. Sean Dingling bit on the head six months ago by Leon. Leon, if we read the evidence, mentions... Oh, it's not, it doesn't say it specifically... It doesn't mention it specifically Regina, but we know this, bro. I'm doing it. YOLO. All right, right. At this point, the only thing that's important is evidence. I didn't do evidence. I did a a person. Crap. I goofed. Is anyone keeping track of home? This is like this ninth one. God dang, boy, you stupid as egg. All right. <laughs> I picked a bad day to get my COVID vaccine because, <laughs> God, I'm in so much pain. And this is such a pain. Okay. Are you attempting to imply that Acro is trying to kill someone else? What else do we got? Are you effing kidding me? I already picked, I, I thought, I thought I already picked the no. Bruh. I'm, this ain't even a bit, y'all. Like, I'm just straight up mad. Like, this, <laughs> that's a weird noise. Acro, you remember this, don't you? Homie, I figured this out a long time ago. God dang it. That's, it's a piece of paper that we found inside the ringmaster's tailcoat. <laughs> Inside the tailcoat of the victim, how did Acro get that in there? Acro wrote this note. It's ironically entitled, To the Murderer. Uh, funny, isn't it? Its purpose was to call someone to the plaza at 10 p.m. Unfortunately, that plan didn't really work out. Are you saying I called Russell Barrow that thing? Mm-hmm. But there's just one little issue. Acro did indeed place this note into someone's pocket. However, that someone was not the ringmaster. You mean it wasn't the... That's exactly right. An hour and a half later, you know who I mean. The person this note was intended for was Regina Berry! Oh my god, shocker. Order, order, okay, and also, you, you in the swim trunks, remember, you are, <laughs> you ain't that bright, this took you a while. I know, I know. That's all theory of yours, goodness. It's the truth, your honor. It isn't just a theory. Simply put, Regina didn't think the note was meant for her, which is why the morning of the crime, she placed it on the cafeteria bulletin board. That's when her, her father, the ringmaster, saw the note. Mm-hmm. That's correct. The ringmaster ended up in the plaza instead of Regina. And he was killed because of that mistake. Instead of Regina! That's incredible, Phoenix! Yes, I know. I'm surprised I was actually correct. Remember the testimony that Acro gave us earlier today? He couldn't see out the window because of his legs. Bummer. Shouldn't kill people, sicko. Acro has no idea who it was that arrived at the plaza. He just used the, you know, the sound of the, the box being open. Makes sense. Because he couldn't look down to see who it actually was. Ah, oh, got it. Acro thought it was Regina in the plaza. And that's when he let the bus fly. Wow, Nick. Isn't Regina listening to all this from the audience? You should probably chill out. Oh, well, unfortunately, yeah, she is. It's only going to get harsher from here, though. Hope Regina can handle it. Uh, Aqua wrote this note to Regina. Uh, uh, uh. Foolish, fool, fool, fool. Listen, I hate Von Karma. Tom Foolery. You're so foolish. You even made it sound like a foolhardy fool. Uh, very well, Mr. Phoenix. Right. If you're so sure, then tell us about this line. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Uh... Crap. Yeah, I can't really explain that. Well, if the note was meant for Regina Barry, it would mean that this note is declaring Regina is a murder. Oh. Huh. Well, uh, about that. 
You just don't get it, do you? Come on. Do a little legwork, missy. Oh, what, did you, what did you just say? You gotta stop making Gumshoe do it all. The ringmaster knew that what the note meant, which is why he went to the plaza in place of his, his daughter. Phoenix, calm down. She's mine. No, sh sh shut up. Hold her right there. What is the incident that alluded to the note? Well, I, I know all about it. Duh. An incident occurred six months ago. And now I'm more than ready to show this court what happened at that time. Moron. What the? That, that insult had no tact. Are you sure this relates to the present case? Yes, it does. Indeed, Your Honor. Everything in the case is start... Everything in this case, it's start in what happened six months ago. I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind. Uh, really, Nick? Yeah, I think so. Well, then, if that's the case, hurry up and tell us. What is this conclusive evidence mentioned in the note? I know I'd certainly like to know what it is. Um, Can't answer the question. The judge is going to think I'm bluffing. Crap. Judges get thrown into a... Uh, Conclusive evidence? This question's even harder! The conclusive evidence about the incident six months ago. What happened six months ago? What's his name? Bat tried to impress Regina, put his head in a lion, and the lion bit down, and then these two brothers had a horrible accident. How was that? Pr how did how did he discover anything? I don't get it. Let's think about the lion. The lion was smiling. Why would it smile? My my original thesis or theory was that Russell trained it to do something. But no, the lion did the trick a whole built like a dump ton of times. So what was different this time? Bat scarf stained with blood. Uh, wait. Stained with pepper? Are you mother effing kidding me? The lion sneezed? You gotta be joking. And I'm wrong. Achoo! <laughs> Maybe it was a joke answer? Does this game have that? What kind of spicy joke is this, Mr. Phoenix, right? I don't know yet. Oh. <laughs> it's not a joke at all. It's the decisive evidence. Is that actually the answer? Are you effing kidding me? I said that like half is a joke. Recall the victim. Well, that would explain why he put it in the chest. Because that's what he thinks. Is that the truth or not? Eh. Recall the victim was trying to take the wooden box away with him. That was really loud. Ow. He was doing so because this piece of evidence was inside. Another unbelievable conclusion. All right, right. So what exactly are you saying, huh? Are you claiming Regina killed someone with a bottle of pepper? Taking the note into account, that's the only logical conclusion. Maybe she... She thought, no, I don't know. Foolish fool who never tries on his own foolish ways. Uh, God, four, four points, Von Karma? Are you all right? Yo, I'm a, I'm a you know, hey, uh, I mean, that's, you know, uh... If you're sure, Mr. Phoenix, right, then answer this question. Who was Regina Barry's intended victim? She didn't have a victim. Who is Regina Barry's intended victim? The, the lion? I... If it's not the lion, it has to be Acro. I don't remember who used the pepper on who. I, I remember something about... Like, bat pranking her with pepper. Is this accurate? Dog, I don't know, man. Freaking, okay. Yeah. If... If there's pepper on bat's scarf, right? Then this is not a situation where... Unless there was wind inside of the tent, I think... Bat was the one getting pepper in his face. I just cannot grasp the... I hope this is... Oh, wait, I have the save. I'm fine. Yay! Who is this? This is Acro's younger brother. I... Uh... What does this prove? His younger brother isn't dead. Technically, that is true. 
he's very much alive, but he's been in a coma for six months now. It's not a stretch to see how Aqua could feel that his brother is dead. Regina, she did that to that man? My god, what a sick psychotic freak. It's always the pretty ones, I swear. Judge, what the? Do you spend your entire life dreaming up new ways to be a fool? It's quite the profession. You know, they have a place where that occurs. It's a circus. Oh, I cracked myself up. <laughs> Naturally, the prosecution has looked into Acro's brother, Sean Dingaling. Six months ago, he was bit by a lion and fell into the current coma state. Com com comatose state. A lion? A wardrobe? Oh, my! Um, Regina, I mean Miss Regina, Barry is an animal tamer by trade. However, no tamed animal in that position is ever trained to attack another human. They wouldn't understand the command. Moreover, Miss Regina could never do something like that. It's just not in her. But Maximilian Galactica definitely... Yeah, I... Like, we have disproven that this is not Max's fault. We don't have to find another, like... So then what happened to Aqua's brother? He's not the victim of an attempted murder. He's the victim of an accident. Oh, okay. Well, how about that? Now what do we do? No one seems to be going along with your theories, dude. I'm trying. Do you think what happened to Bat was actually an accident? <sighs> yeah. Like... Okay, I thought she was suspicious now, but, like, legitimately, she's just a little... She's, like, 14 or whatever. Like, it wasn't malicious. How did she know... How? Yeah, how would Regina know Leon would behave that way? It was just an accident. They didn't think about the pepper. It was just kids being... Mm, it was more than that. I d just... I don't know. How does how, how does Acro see this? Because if it was an accident or not, it doesn't even matter. No, it has to be an accident, right? Suppose it truly was an accident. It's essential that a man knows when to give up, Mr. Phoenix, right? Mm. It's impossible to prove Miss Barry's involvement in the murder attempt, isn't it? There's... Uh... Instigating a lion to attack? Who ever heard of something like that? And to think the defense claimed this was conclusive evidence. But it is. Or is it? I don't know anymore. No, oh, no, Maya's domain. Oh, what did I do? A small bottle of pepper. A lion. What's their connection? They sneezed. Uh, uh. What's the matter, Nick? I figured it out. It was right in front of my nose the entire time. Your Honor. Yeah, what's up? The lion biting bat was no accident at all. What? Huh? You're such an amateur, Mr. Phoenix Wright. There's no way that Regina would ever incite her lion to attack another human being. Oh my god, again. You're kidding me. I'm so scared. Ah! She may not have incited the lion to attack another human being, but the Let's Player is going to save real quick, okay? Where Jane is responsible for making the lion by Acro's brother Bat because... I... I do not have the foggiest idea in the world. Because we found Pepper on the scarf? Uh... That's... That's just a scarf, Phoenix. No, it isn't. Acro, look at it. Look at it now. Look. This scarf's something that Bat used to wear, right? That's right. And who is the one that gave this scarf to Bat? R Regina gave it to him. Regina. Find something so gaudy. My goodness. There's something more than just blood on this scarf, Your Honor. What's that, homie? Pepper. Huh? Pepper. It's, not, it's pretty not, short word. Regina gave this a scarf to Bat right before the accident. And she covered it with as much pepper as she could. Uh, Dude, it makes sense. Come on. Right, Maya? 
Man, F this. Everyone hates me. The stupid bird's in my face again! Ugh! What's with the silent treatment? Excuse me, Mr. Wright. You've done a good job, finger- uh, uh, What?! Have you been able to see my mouse cursor this whole time? Okay. You've done a good job of... Pointing at a criminal. But out of curiosity, what was the crime? Uh... This bear gave Peppa covered scarf to bat as a present. It's a prank, bro. You've never heard of it? <laughs> Father, I want to make a prank channel. I'd be really good at it. Watch. Oh no, he died. <laughs> Where's the crime in that? So since the judge doesn't get it. M Mr. Phoenix Wright, why are you sweating? Wasn't it said the lion seemed to be smiling? Yeah, it's sneezing. It's sneezing! Right before the bat was bit by a lion, for a moment the lion's mouth changed and it looked like he was smiling. Lion smiling? Shoot. This some Simba Mufasa bull crap! I never heard of them smiling. However, Lion sneeze. How do you know this, Phoenix? That's an obscure animal fact. Do you have Animal Planet on repeat? Leon was trying to wasn't trying to bite at all. It was. Then how does? In reality, all he actually did was sneeze, and that was enough. But then how do I explain him going after? Acro. I guess like Acro was aggro, and attacked the lion himself. He sneezed because of all the pepper on the scarf that Bat was wearing. Whoa, whoa. You fool. Man, y'all making fun of me. It made sense. F you, dude. I know when you first heard my theory, you're like, this kid's stupid. Then I was right. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, uh, What's the matter, Ms. Von Karma? You said rejection, then nothing. I object for objection's sake. Mr. Phoenix, right? This theory, you believe it? Well, you don't. It's really good. You really intend to say that this is how the th this joke of an accident actually happened? Yeah, basically. Like, come on, it's the truth. The lion sneezed due to the pepper, and that's when Bat lost consciousness. Acro nearly lost his brother due to this accident. Or this joke, as you put it. Which is why he tried to get revenge against Regina. You idiot. <laughs> it almost does seem like a terrible joke, doesn't it? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. Dude, just give up, brah. Come on, I hate you, dude. I think there's someone who treats this accident with the respect it deserves. Ah! Wait, what, what are you saying? You saying this is true? What? Acro, come on! You don't mean you you can't witness? Speak up! Please! Are you confirming the defense's claim? Mr. Wright, unfortunately your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. Well Yeah, but what? Like, come on! The pepper, the scarf, the lion. Seems... I see where you're going, but it's a bit hard to swallow. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. Oh yeah, what's that? Same problem itself. Evidence. If I drop Max's bust on the top of the ringmaster... Where's the evidence that proves that claim? Uh... Where'd we find the bust? I don't even... I don't even remember. Uh-oh. You mean the conclusive evidence, huh? The biggest problem is the murder weapon. Or the lack thereof, to be more precise. Dude, we don't actually have the murder weapon. We only have a picture of it. Bro. Well, if that bus is still in your room, we got you red-handed, don't you? But, let me guess, we're running out of time. I can't do that. Well, how do we... What do we how do we get out of this one? The murder weapon, huh? Bus, out of the defense, claims was used. Now, that would be found in Aqua's room. There's a couple of victims' blood and all that. It'd be conclusive in my eyes. Yes, it would. 
Okay. So where the dump is this thing? The bust. Nick, you gotta think of something and do something. This is the last step. If I get this one right, the case is won. <laughs> Half of my saves have been for this episode. Look, look at my saves. Look at them all. They're all 4-2 almost. Okay, not all of them, but you uh... Let's see how this works out first. No, look in Acro's room. Duh. The defense requests to search the room of Ken Dingling. Hmm. What, what was that with the, huh? It looks like you still haven't figured things out, have you? By now you must know the meaning of Von Karma, total justice. You mean, you've already, ah. Oh. A Von Karma never leaves anything to chance. We already searched Acro's room yesterday. Did you find it? Well, yes, but, uh, <laughs> there's no reason to even say it. If we found what you think we found at that room, Acro would not be here as a witness. That's a good point. Wow. I have to agree with her. But to put a point on it, Max's bus was not in the room. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. Duh! You see, Mr. Wright, the bus wasn't in my room. Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed the search by complete surprise, and we took Acro directly to the prosecutor's office after that. There you have it. End of story. Jesus, lady! Wait, something's funny about all of this. Wait, right? I, I, I don't agree. <laughs> Looks like you lack the final nail to put in my coffin, Phoenix. Yeah, I got 12, that's enough. What about the scarf? What about the note? What about them? No offense, but the only evidence that is relevant here is that which pertains to the death of the ringmaster. You should know that by now. Nah, there's something else. He stuttered. Don't let this case slip away, Phoenix. The bus, where is it? I don't know. Wait, where's the bus right now? The bus right now. You're Phoenix right. You know what the bus the, you know where that bus is? I'm sure you do. I don't. There's not even a single clue. How am I supposed to know where the bus is? Is it still in the box? No way. Come on! Well, well, well. Seems this case is closed. I'm getting sick of listening to all you stupid people and all your stupid noises. Ugh. Defense court argument looks to have fallen short. No, oh, come on. Thank you for your support. Ugh. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I think that brings to an end cross-examination. Oh, I was, I'm surprised we didn't see not guilty. Wait, ho huh? Is it Regina? Is it Mo? Who is he? Where is Max's bust? The defense needs time to prepare th to pr present its lace. I mean, it's how I bit my tongue, and I'm a little ner <laughs> and I'm a bit nervous. How did I predict that? What? Well, we need time to do what? Ow! This is chaos. What is happening? Why are you the most surprised person here? She's your aide, isn't she? Do you really have a case to present, right? I, I, you're asking me? The rest is up to you, Nick. I got you time. You got this. This is so stupid! Acrobats always have their lives on the line, don't they? That's how Acro's lived up life up till now. Now it's time for us to walk across our own typewriter. Maya, I don't have time for this. This is stupid. If we don't, we're certain to lose. Very well, defense may proceed. It's the final battle. God, I've never... Even Von Karma wasn't as tough as this, bro. Why are you talking about me? No, the, you're... Okay, anyway. He doesn't have a clue, and I don't think he'll be finding one anytime soon. Walking the tightrope of logic, there's no room to fall step. Sink or swim, the only way through is forward. Let's do it. I... I am totally clueless. Their murder weapon. Where is it now? Don't mind me, just going to, uh, you know, make triple sure. <laughs> Somewhere in the big top. Somewhere in this courtroom, I kind of doubt. 
Wait. What if it's with that giant thing of milk? <laughs> that doesn't seem right. I would make sure they would not find it. No, because eventually we drink the milk and find out, oh, well, the, there's a statue under this. Phoenix, what on earth? Somewhere in the lodging house? I didn't see you on there. Hold on. How thorough was Gumshoe? Because we know he checked uh, Acro's room. We know that... Uh, what am I trying to say here? We know he was around the perimeter of, you know, the lodging house. That's where we saw him for the whole chapter. Von Karma was helping too, but... I don't remember anybody checking out the Big Top. At least mentioned via text. I mean, obviously there's other police officers. It's not just the two. It's not in the effing courtroom. That's a meme. Like... I think that's it, bro. It could clearly be there. Maybe. Just maybe. It must be somewhere in the very big top. Think about it. It's huge. It is big in the name. It's it's in the big top? No. Mr. Rock, we're exactly in the... Oh, my effing God. No. You're... That's evil. Well, test taking was never my best suit. All right. We're exactly- Yeah, no kidding, dude! You're stupid! Shut up! I researched the stuff, but I have awful test anxiety. Uh. In the center ring? No. The cafeteria? Obviously not. Best chance is the ringmaster's room. To be sp specific, I believe it's in the ringmaster's room. Once again, you are so predictable, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Enough of your bluffing. The ringmaster's room was thoroughly cert. You're joking. No one told me. I guess I don't have to tell us this. There's absolutely no way I'm wrong. I'd even stake my life on it. There's no need me to be staking your life on nothing, Missy. Uh, ah! I'm looking out for you. Come on! And you get one, too. Uh, is anyone going to guess what I say next? Check it out. Ba 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 ba. It says it says guilty in case you're listening with headphones, y'all. F this game. F this game. F it. Just just f, f, f the whole game. It's it's with the milk, isn't it? Is is that what we're doing with this now? Why would you mention that otherwise? If that's not the case. Ah! Get the milk in here. It's obvious, really. The bus is inside this very courtroom. <laughs> Wait, no, the milk's in the lobby. Crap. It's obvious, Wooly Ware. Oh, allow me to pinpoint to the... Whoa. You know, he does have that blanket all up. Hold on. Let me see his profile again. Oh, it doesn't show his lower half. What are the chances the murder weapon is currently on Acro's person? I don't know where it could be, but that is a possibility. Oh. Acro, you're effing joking. I'm sorry to ask this, but do you mind if I take the blanket off your wheelchair? Hmm. I'm sorry. I didn't quite hear you. Yes, you did, you e Well, you are a big guy and you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. How would you ever guess that in a hundred effing years? You barely see his bottom sprite. That's stupid. I just want to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket, see? Because it seems to see that it, because it seems to me that it'd be really easy to say hide a bust under there. <laughs> Is this a setup for a joke? Like, once again, your penchant for humor hits where it hurts, Mr. Wright. But I I'm right, correct? Like, I, I think it's pretty amazing you could laugh in your position, but your lightheartedness doesn't change the fact that the bust is under there. Hmm. 
We all know you can't leave the lodging house by yourself. True, I didn't think of that. Dump. I get, dude, I guess I'm so like privileged. I've never been in a wheelchair to consider like you could store something under it. Crap. That proved inconvenient when Miss Von Karma happened to search her room yesterday. Yeah. Dude. It couldn't be in the big top. It couldn't be in the ringmaster's room. Because we've learned money, he can only take things. He can't put them back. And if you are an animal tamer, we, you know, that's hard to set up. Monkeys, you know, they smart, but like, they could mess up. He couldn't risk that. If she had found the murder weapon in your room, it would have been all over. For me and you, kind of. Which is why you had to hide it in the only place you could. Under your wheelchair. Which me, which is why, Acro, I have to ask again. Would you please remove the blanket from your lap? Well done, Mr. Wright. Masterfully played. Right back at you, but God, you did not make that easy for me. Ah, oh, come on. She's such a wet blanket. Uh, Fool. How could you? Let me guess, you you, you probably asked that- oh, she, she probably like figured that out and didn't really talk about it. Huh. You've got me. I've been bagged by a real pro. Actually, two of them. I'm talking about Maya? What? Gramshu. Von Karma and Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? It's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know to launch the surprise search on my room last night? What? There were two pieces of decisive evidence. The cloak and the bust. The... Is the cloak the... No, the cloak's not the blanket, but that could also be hidden under there. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away in the trash. Regina always took out my trash, you know. But the bust, obviously I could not throw that away. When you executed your search, all I could do was try and hide the bust. And the only place I could hide it was under this wheelchair. Miss Von Karma, you had things all figured out, didn't you? I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. And to be caught in the middle of court hiding the murder weapon. There's no way I can escape that. So you've got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done. That all makes sense now. Yeah, it took us long enough. God. I can't believe that Von Karma thought that far ahead. She probably didn't. Definitely couldn't be... Yeah, you definitely couldn't tell by looking at her. I guess she is kind of smart. I know I sure couldn't. I can't believe it. I made a mistake. Why did I order a surprise search on your room? If only I hadn't done that. I see we finally arrived at the truth. Golly. Are y'all tired? I'm tired of spelling out the guilty. I didn't. Acro. Your Honor. Did you kill the ringmaster or not? Fizz up. Yes, Your Honor. I'm responsible for that crime. Acro. Yep. Dude. All my brother wanted was Regina to like him. That's why he teased her. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard you couldn't help yourself for a laugh. That's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get back in the same way. And that's why she covered the scarf with pepper. I know she didn't mean anything bad to happen. I know this. She just wanted to make my brother sneeze a few times. <laughs> But I just couldn't forgive her no matter what. What am I trying... What am I truly guilty of? I'm guilty of never ever being able to understand her. Your brother became a star. Regina believes in that so purely. As she would laugh innocently when saying it. Too innocently. I just couldn't stand it. No matter how hard I tried. That's when you decide to do something about Regina, huh? How... Dreadful. So you're saying that you are a victim in all this as well? No. That's not what I mean. Oh, God. No, stop, man. Now I'm gonna cry. Oh, God. Take it. It's n I'm nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. At first, I thought I'd kill myself. No, stop. Then I pondered giving myself up. But I couldn't just up and leave. 
I just couldn't. Not yet. That's why I tried to pin this on Max. Max, I'm so sorry. You better be! I just... I just couldn't up and leave yet. This is so effing... This is so effed up, bro. Like, yeah, he killed a guy. He killed an innocent girl because, what, she laughed? Ah. Like, that sucks. But dude's had such a rough life and it got even worse because of a stupid misunder... God dang it. Life can be tragic. This is such a strange case. It's almost a reflection of the circus itself. Uh, I don't effing care anymore. Idiot! I can't believe it. You beat me again? <laughs> Whoopsies! I guess I did. I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible discussion. Now I'd like to declare my verdict. Guilty. Oh, man, I forgot the knot. My bad. Ah. Uh, hey, when that happens. Now you want to arrest for trying to date a minor. Get, get him, boy. This court is now adjourned. I'm heading out. Poor Regina. I can't believe I thought she was the murderer. I can. Here's some cards. Fabulous! But to be honest, I can't really be too happy about all this. Why is that? The milk is spoiled rotten. Ugh. The ringmaster, Regina, and Bat. It's so sad. Not a single one of them was a bad person inside. That's a good question, huh? And one I don't know the answer to. Many congrats, but only a max. A million of them. <laughs> uh, thank you. Who are you again? Uh... Phoenix, are we the baddies? No, Maya, we're just lawyers. So I guess, yeah, kind uh, uh anyway. What's with the vibe in the room? Not liking it, nope. We're just thinking about Acro. No, 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 no. If you really worry about people too much, then you'll be like this forever and you'll never be happy. That's no good. Oh, God dang it, no, don't you cry Oh, I feel like such a turd. She's been like this for an hour. <laughs> no, a while now. <laughs> it's all my fault. S -s Sweetie pie, you... Uh, go hug her or something, you D-bag. God, he's just the worst. That acro, they're never coming back. <laughs> now everyone's gonna split up. Regina, Mr. Wright, tell me something. Ah, what do you want, Regina? What, quit bothering me, freaking... Akra said something right at the end. Yeah. I just couldn't up and leave yet. Because deep down, he did like the circus. Does that mean Akro? He's going to try and get his revenge on me? No, I don't think that's what he meant at all. He's not going to do that to you, Regina. Are you, are you sure? Are you really sure? I can't believe that. Yes, Akro doesn't have desire for revenge anymore. If that's true, then I, I want to see some evidence. I want to know why you're not just making up stuff. Oh my god. Dude. Evidence that he won't come and kill you anymore. I don't know. God dang it, lady. Christ. What do you want from me? Ugh. I'm just going to look it up. I don't care anymore. Frick, where's my... Oh yeah, bro. I was never going to get that one. Holy dump. I guess this is it. Akro didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. But, but, that's right, Regina. He's still alive, you know. He could wake up someday. I never knew. Uh, Akro has been caught. Oh my God, that is true. Regina's perspective. He died. That's why she was saying he's a star now. Dang. That is actually pretty clever. You know what? I still wouldn't have figured it out, but shoot. I know. Wh what? I'll do it. I'll stay next to Bat as long as it takes. <laughs> oh, that's, so that's honestly so touching. God dang it. <laughs> Until he opens his eyes, and then he can meet Acro again. That's so sweet of you, Regina. I'm sorry, Acro. I'm sorry, Bat. Hopefully this is enough to give her a peace of mind. Hey, Max. Uh, yeah, what's up, Mo? Well, really put you through a lot, didn't we, buddy? I'm sorry about what happened. So whenever you'd like to leave us, I'll pay you a fee and rip up the contract. Oh, I understand. What a fabulous thing to do for me. I might even leave tomorrow. Huh? 
What's gonna happen to the circus now? Ah, uh, that's the big question. Now, Ringmaster was really an amazing guy, wasn't he? Oh. Uh, even though he's not here anymore, everyone's still stinking together. Uh, staff, the performers. No one wants to leave the circus. That's why I made a decision. What's that, big guy? I decided I would take over as the new ringmaster. I know, hold your applause. Uh, I'll turn the circus into the best circus in the freaking world. The best circus in the world has ever seen, huh? Reaching for the stars. Hey, don't laugh. Come on. That's quite the goal. Yay, I can't wait. <laughs> then I guess that changes things, huh? What? There's only one thing the best circus in the world has ever seen needs. The world's best illusions! Which means the circus needs the best magician the world has ever seen. Max, don't do this again. I swear to God. Let's work together and make our circus super fabulous! What do you say, big guy? I don't, I don't, uh... Well, th thanks, I guess. Um, Regina, you're gonna help out too, aren't you? Um, I don't know. Maybe the circus would be better off without me. You didn't do anything. Oh my god, Regina. What are you talking about, Regina? Why do you think I brought you to court today? So she could move past her trauma and realize what happened. We gotta work together to make your dad's circus bigger than it's ever been. Come on! Mo? Uh... Most right, sweetie pie. Give me the Barry Big Circus without Regina Barry. Come on. All right, Max is nice when it counts sometimes. <laughs> Max. Aw, Nick, look. Seems like everything's gonna turn out all right. I can't wait to go see the best circus in the world. Please buy me tickets, Phoenix. No, I can't. Ah! We'll save you the most fabulous seats. You have to pay a premium, though. What the? I'll take us a while to get ready, but I'm gonna order special whoopee cushion seats just for you, Phoenix. <laughs> that, it, it was a circus instead of a roller coaster, but God, it was up and down and then up and I see what made the case. Yesterday's surprise raid really paid off just like you said it would, sir. Uh, you had it all figured out, didn't you? It was... Just a theory. Matt Panta in the game? Bro, what? If Acro really was the killer, that was all I could do. Especially if he was the defense attorney. I already know this is Edgeworth. You mean Mr. Wright? Oh, crap. Talking to a plane. Of course. Well, detective, my plane is about to leave. As for Mr. Acro's case, you need not worry. I plan to personally stop by the Chief Prosecutor's office as soon as I get back. All right, gotcha, boss. I'll be waiting for you, big man. Niles Edgeworth is back in the game! Woo! Well, I guess her plan sort of worked. God dang, bro. I, I'm a, I'm a jump in the pool. That, that was not fun. At all. There he is! I called it! What the freak? Is that a claw and a robot? Oh my god. What is happening now? 